this. You can't see me. Is that how you want it? You don't have to see me. You're all good. <laughs> this is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, joined by Dan Aziz. What a journey you've been on, Dan. I remember yeah. interviewing you on those small hall shows that you all call where exciting fighter, yeah. everyone was talking about it, this is this is what dreams are made of. This is a big fight on Sky Sports on October 21st. Yeah, definitely, man. Um, like you said, you've been there yourself. Remember your calls, the Brentwood centres, and now we're here, 0-2, um, October 21st. But yeah, it's a big fight. The winner goes on to fight um, potentially for a world title. So um, couldn't be more of a carrot dangling at the end of the fight. So yeah, why not? Did you always know this was going to happen, Dan? No, no, I didn't. I, I didn't. Um, I was meant to defend my European in July. That's why I had that little blowout in Italy, that random fight, because I've been getting ready for a fight in July. Um, so yeah, I didn't see this on a horizon until afterwards. Um, but it's a fight, isn't it? Like, do you know what I mean? People are intrigued by it, um, want to see, see, see it, and um, I guess it kind of cements who's number one in not just South London, but in the UK, I think, anyway. Um, so yeah. Is that important because you guys are both, you know, pushing on world level? It's arguably you are both world level, um, but you're not just from, both from London. You're from South London. Yeah. So does that does that add something to it, Dan? Yeah, hundred percent, man. You're walking down your local store, Tesco, um, and everyone they they know of the fight. Do you know what I mean? They have a rooting for him, rooting for me, rooting for both of us. Everyone's so intrigued, man. Um, we share the same like kind of social groups, um, so yeah, there's there's the pride on the line as well. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, man, it's, it's So when you go into the shops and stuff and, and yeah. ask people who you got, me or, or Josh, are people I picking? People. I go like the other day. I was in um, my gym, and then one guy just came out of his black tight Range Rover. He goes, Aziz. So the other guy said, Better win, you know. I was like, Oh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But that's our way of showing like support and love, do you know what I mean? But yeah, you just every day now, like I'm getting more and more um, people, you know, recognizing that I'm fighting Josh and whatnot. And I guess it just adds to the intensity of the fight, um, the pressure as well. Um, but it's good though. I'm happy that I did my camp here because I'm trying to feed off that energy. You know, the locals getting behind you or whatnot instead of secluding myself away yeah so um yeah it was, it's a, it was a good idea it wasn't even my idea buddy was the one that said oh stay stay there um i'll come down so yeah dan i think if you spoke to people a couple of years ago and put you and josh together everyone would be picking josh as as it gets closer i'm probably hearing a little more more people picking you the, the form you've been the running you've been on I think even Josh would admit his last few performances haven't been up to sort of his level, perhaps. Um, I know that doesn't really make a difference on fight night, but have you sort of picked up that vibe and, and gauge as well? Um, for what I know, I'm just I'm the underdog. Um, I mean, I'm the underdog. It's another 50-50, and that's good enough for me. Do you know what I mean? I don't care about um, what he says, she says. What's important is going out there and performing on the night that's all that matters you know yeah I've been consistent I've been on a run but that's important to my development some people they can be out a whole year and still come out and do the business do you know what I mean um, so yeah it doesn't it doesn't really matter it's just about what happens on, on the night is it gonna be war from round one yeah I'm guessing so he doesn't want to back down I don't I'm not gonna back down um, we've got that ego and do you know what's funny even when we spar even though it's just a spar and my mates, like, we've always still got that like, oh, hey, man, yeah, you caught me with a good one there or, nah, I'm stronger than you or whatnot. So I think that will be more intensified because this, this, this is real competition and stuff is on the line. Reaction to Anthony Ard picking you in this fight? Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But um, I think that just um, comes from, you know, Anthony's another person who I've known for a while, I've sparred him. And he's seen the journey as well. Um, he, he, he remembers me bloody being at Stratford Westfields, handing out flyers to sell, to um, fight on the small halls and stuff. And so he's just looking at it and seeing it like, like, wow, like, not only am I picking him, I want him to win because I've witnessed his journey. So yeah, yeah although he's a rival, he's still like someone that is, is a cool guy, man. And I've known him for a while, a good mate. 
Appreciate your concentrations on the 21st. You've got a big job to do. Yeah. We know what we know. We know what's on the horizon with world title honours. But I will have to ask you because Anthony Yard doesn't even fight on Sky. Yeah. He came into the Sky Sports studios the other day yeah. and made it very clear. I want the winner of Boatsy Aziz. Would yeah. you entertain that? That's exciting, man. Because it's you know the top boys in the UK want to fight each other. It, uh, you know, ain't you happy to hear that? Like, do you know, hundred I mean? percent. But I know you and Anthony get on really well. Would you entertain that? Yeah, of course. I get on with a lot of the light heavies. Callum Smith is um, it's one of my stable mates. Um, who else is there? Craig Richards. We both um, used to train at the same gym. I've known him for years too. Like, but we're competitors at the end of the day. We're fighters, and I've said it. You know, by the end of my career, I want to fought all my peers, and these guys are my peers. So. Any one of them, it would be good to um, mix it up with. Just lastly, Dan, away from this, we are in East Croydon, only a couple of minutes away from, uh, we saw a tragic incident with a 15-year-old girl yeah. getting stabbed and losing her life. Um, what would your message be to people across the country? Because it's it's, knife crime issue is a, a thing across the country, but particularly in London, yeah. um, it's, it's been here for years. What would your message be about how to solve this as a community and get over this? Um, boy, uh, my message... It's not even a message, it's just like, we need to do something, man. And um, I think, you know, having events like this where people like myself and Josh are from those inner cities, we're from them same communities, it's good to get the younger generation, not only to just watch it, but get them involved as well. Because that way it gives them, a, gives them something to inspire to. Like, oh, Dan, he went to my school, uh, he's from just down the road. If he could be headlining at O2, why can't I? Even if it's not boxing, it could be something else that they want to achieve, do you know what I mean? The more these kind of things are in touching distance to them and um, more, you know, believable for them, the more that they'll think all that other stuff, the stabbings and all, is, is dead. They'll think that that shit is nothing. But for some reason, they think that stuff's cool. So we got a duty, people like me, Josh, to try and show them, no, that's crap. That ain't cool. This is what's cool, you know, being part of, history you know an event you know achieving your goals like um being positive being a role model in your community and that's the stuff that's cool and i think as a as a community we got a duty to do that so yeah um condolences to the family and friends of the young lady who lost her life um, but yeah we really got to do something about this and um just yeah knives get the knives down and just we just get these get these younger younger kids more involved, man. Well said, Dan, and best of luck on the 21st. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Cheers, man.